YouTube. This is Pringles Lantern. Today, I'm gonna do something different. Since school is coming, I know, bleh. And if you're a middle schooler and you're watching this video, great. But if you're a kindergartner through fifth grader, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Seriously, once you get into seventh grade, you'll know. As me being a seventh grader, even though I look like I'm a fifth grader, I mean, I was like this, okay. I was like this tall when I was in um, kindergarten. Um, this tall in first grade, this tall in second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, no, fifth grade, and sixth grade, and and I, that's it. I've stopped growing so for some reason. And um, that's not what I want to talk about today. What I want to, ignore the cats playing in the background. So what I wanted to talk about is upsides and downsides, AKA pros and cons of school. That's a good title. Pros and cons of middle school. And since I'm in the seventh grade, I know what I'm talking about. So without further ado, let's begin. Um, for number, for the pros, we got friends at school that we can hang out with, like at lunch or at the very beginning of school until, until 8.35, that's when we start going to class. Cons of that is they're absent and you have no one else to play with. And for the pros, I'm gonna say a lot of pros. To play on your phone, like all day, in like the beginning of class, and um, before class, in lunch, and after school. Now, since I take the bus home, um, I have to go outside. But speaking of going outside, a con to that is for ever since like March, ever since February, yeah, ever since February, like we would get five minutes into the cafeteria and then they would just boot us outside for some reason. And then they were like, yeah, we the small of teachers. We're gonna kick the kids out into the 110 degree outdoors and half of them found they're dead. And also that pretty much no violence out there. So we could be good. So a resident can get the work done that they need. That's just freaking stupid. They can do it. You see, the point of janitors is after school cleaning, not in between school cleaning. What's the point of school? You gotta, you gotta learn how to, gotta learn how janitors work. Janitors do not clean in between the school times because that's when the kids are learning. That's when they vacuum. They do that after school, like when everyone is home. And I'm pretty sure everyone on my shirt that has been to school would know. Dexter, Dee Dee, Mac, Johnny, Cow, the Eds, not Courage, he's a dog. Um, they've been to school once, and Billy, Mandy, not the, not the him. Not the Grim. But, yeah, that's just a stupid thing. With the pra, with the, I almost said prawns. With the, with the pros, how, some of the teachers are nice. But the cons, some teachers are complete bullcrap. I mean, some of them are like, have a nice day. You know, wait, before I say what my example, you know how when your mom leaves, they usually say, bye, sweetie, or bye, honey. But whenever teachers say that, they're like really uncomfortable because they're not our moms. So why do they get to say it? When moms say it, bye, sweetie. Okay, mom, goodbye. But when teachers say it, Bye, Billy. Wait. Um, um. Bye, sweetie. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Did she just call me sweetie? Not your kid. <laughs> anyway, um, with the, and um, this is my example. Some teachers are like, have a good day, sweetie. Have a good rest of your day. Bye, bye, love you, bye. I don't know why I said love you. But with some teachers are like, yak, 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 do your homework. Don't forget to do your homework. Blah, 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 Don't forget to do your homework now. And then, well, you know what? Homework this. <laughs> Sorry, you probably didn't need to see that, but. Whew. I made a lot of pros and cons. 
uh, more cons than there are pros, but another pro. Sometimes a lot of, well, sometimes in October and November, that's when the flu starts coming out. And I'm one of the lucky kids. Except in the third grade, maybe? No. Fourth grade, yeah. I was in the fourth grade once, and about this tall. And I waddled over to my teacher and said, I don't feel good. Yeah, not only was the flu going around, but strep throat was going around because this kid had a sleepover. Wait, not only were the strep throat, fever, and, and, and the flu going around, there was also lice going around. Me having long hair was worried, so I wore a hat to school. But you know what they did? They confiscated it. I've never seen that hat ever again. Well, until the, I found it in the lost and found. Or when I when I asked for it back, they said why, and I smarted and I said, um, um, what did I say? I probably said something like, yeah, they took it away for no reason, and um, I was wearing a hat in school because protecting my head, and they understood. They gave me it back. They gave me permission. So most of the kids were wearing hats to protect themselves from head lice. But how the head lice is going around was, um. This kid had a sleepover, but one of them forgot to bring a pillow. Not only one, but two, not th three. Three people forgot to bring their pillow. So he had to share. That's how they got head lice. And the person had long, long hair. But I've been asking this question a lot, and people gave me the dumbest answers. Oh, when they share the pillow, when they share a pillow. This is not what I'm asking. But how? It's not like the starting person has head lice, but how does he get head lice? How does it head... Oh yeah, headlights fly around on flies. They hitch onto flies and then they fly around the hair. That's why my daughter. Anyway, um, yeah, they they all got headlights. All the friends got headlights, and then they spread it to their friends, and their friends spread it to their friends. And I was one of the lucky ones and didn't get it. But in the fourth grade, um, um, that happened in like somewhat in sixth grade, October. But in October, that's when strep throat, fever, and all that was going around. It was bad. I got strep throat and fever. For the rest of the years, I was fine. I was one of those kids who got their shots in school and didn't cry like a baby. Yeah. Even though this one tough girl cried like a baby, she was afraid of getting a shot. And it's just a little needle going into your skin, just like, <sighs> and you're done. It's not that bad. It doesn't really hurt anymore because I have more muscle and bone and more structure. How far are we into the video? Seven minutes. Okay. Um, let's make it a nine minute. Let's make it a nine minute video. More stuff. More more pros and more more pros and more cons. Stop going back into the hole. That's better. So more pros, more cons. I'm gonna start working on more pros. Pros, half of the kids will get sick from the flu in October, and then you'll be fine gliding in the hallway. And some of your enemies will be absent. absent. There was this, um, I don't remember how tall he was, like right here, and he was in sixth grade. His name was, um, I'm not only gonna say his nickname, his nickname was Lil Primo. And then there was this kid who, who I thought was my friend, he was like right here. His name, I'm not gonna say his name, his name will be Ringo, I don't know why. But Ringo, by the way, the actual kid's name starts with an R, so Ringo is the next best thing. So Ringo, by the way, this is kind of a hint to Jaden Animation's video. She had two plushies. One of them was Ringo. What was the other one's name? That's your answer. Anyway. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, some of your enemies will be born, but what Lil Primo and um, Ringo did was that Ringo was my friend for the whole year. We talked about Cuphead, Bendy, video games. Until we had the solar system project, he didn't do crap for that project. And I kept begging him to do work or else we're both gonna fail. Until I asked my teacher and she said, my grade isn't dependent on his or his grade isn't dependent so we both get separate grades. When we did our, um, evaluation thing character evaluation evaluate I forgot what it was I gave him like you know what he wrote for Jupiter I like Jupiter it is big and I like space gave the dog R.I.P. it's not what he wrote I'm just exaggerating but it was dedicated apparently he changed up the title 
right before we turned it in, and it said dedicated to Gabe the dog. I love Gabe the dog, but um, a science project isn't about space and solar system wouldn't be de dedicated to Gabe the dog. And um, he kept deleting all my gifts. He kept deleting all my work. He, okay, what we were assigned. I would do Mercury. I would do Mercury, Earth, um, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune, and Pluto, apparently. But he would do Venus. He would do Venus, Mars, um, Asteroid Belt. Yeah, Asteroid Belt. Uh, yeah, he, and also, he agreed to do Saturn as well. And he was supposed to do Neptune. You know what I did end up doing? I ended up doing his work. I ended up doing this. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Actually, I didn't do Mars. I didn't do Mars. But I also did Asteroid Belt, Saturn. Well, he, I let him do Saturn. I didn't do Uranus. Neptune and Pluto. Seven. You know how much he did? No, he did three. Not even that. He did three. Three. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. So I deleted all my work on the, his work. So, you know, I didn't delete all of my work. I only deleted the his, my work that he was supposed to do. He ended up failing. Not the whole school year. He ended up failing silence. Uh, I'm not going to say that but he was failing science that's all i know i passed it i passed all my classes um what else oh yeah i was saying i got carried away with all this oh my god and i'm past my limit so i'm gonna have to end it here bye part two um let's get this video to 10 likes usually i only get up to like one or two likes but if you're still here and we get this video to 10 likes i will do a part two to this okay bye